Wagwan, it's a boy here, Yachty Gamer, and I'm here playing some Warframe. Uh, you know, I was just about to say Bloodborne because I've been playing that for a while now. Uh, but yeah, I'm here playing some Warframe. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get medallions um, in your syndicate alerts. Medallion seeds or whatever they call mark. So each syndicate call them differently, but um, the ones that I'm going to be showing now... Um, and I'm, I'm not really sure which mission I'm gonna do, so I don't really know the name of it because they have um I have three syndicates that I'm leveling up right now, so I have three syndicate alerts. But um, basically, what you want um to bring with you is you want to bring one of two mods. You could either bring um Thief's Wit right here, or you could bring an aura mod called Loot Detector right here. So each one of these, you any one of these, you could bring. So if you know you have a friend that you're running with a friends or friends that one of them already has loot detector on then you don't have to bring it but you know I don't think most people want to sacrifice the aura slot anyway most of them might sacrifice a mod slot for this so that's why I said I rather you bring the thief's wit which I'm using in this one because my mess uh, you know I had um I think I forgot what mod I had in that slot right there I'm not sure if it was a rank one blind rage you know because I gotta keep that efficiency up but yeah I'm gonna head over here into this alert let's see um um, head over here. I'm um, gonna do it. Oh, they have um Jupiter. What's Jupiter like? I forgot what the layout of Jupiter is like. Um, which are using it exterminates for this one interception mobile defense and defense. Oh, Europa. Hell no, I'm not going to Europa. I hate that planet, man. But yeah, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna head over here to Jupiter. So basically, you can get these from um can get them from exterminate and all of the other missions basically the only mission that you can't get them from is um interception and defense because that's just one tile set and you know it will be real easy for everybody to find them in there you know real easy but apart from that you can find them in any other mission i don't know if they have changed it for the interception and defense because i know before you couldn't do that i haven't really done the interception and defense one lately but you know i've, I've just been sticking to the exterminate the sabotage could get really you know because most of these where the enemies are constantly spawning over and over again when you're doing it solo it kind of really just get to you but you looking for all of this stuff and enemies spawning back to back to back to back so basically that's why i just like to do the exterminate so oh jupiter are nice yeah, i remember what jupiter is right now so yeah so with the t-swift mod now i'll be able to see oh what's that oh oh yeah that's all my syndicate members Ooh, let me put my shadow shield up. So this chick will die if you don't have that shit up. So basically, you can see on the map right now where it's showing me mods that I've. Oh, I keep getting confused with those guys. But there's something up there. But okay, there's nothing down here. What is this? Is this thing from? Hmm. Yeah, it was. That's strange. You're still in the clear. No detection okay. from enemy sensors. So, Bypass complete. You may proceed. Alright, I'm trying to find the first one right now. Alright, so these over here. Okay, one must be in this room. Right? Rooms like these are where you will normally find one, but oh, I guess not. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the first one. You've been Bountiful seen. Seed. There and uh, I think it's your rank. No matter um, the rank you are, determines the highest um level of the thing here you can get. Cause I know there's one that's for like one give you around two thousand, two, not two thousand, two hundred standing. The other gives you like five hundred, and the last one give you a thousand. I think I'm not sure, but we'll see when I get there at the end. Um, at the end. So basically, that's the first one. So with the T Swift mod, if you can find them without it, I mean, to go and hunt them without this, I think it would be. It would take a lot of you guys to do this. I mean, unless you really know where they are. I mean, a couple of them I can tell in a couple of the maps I can tell where they are. Oh, so I can't really forget I'm using that one. Cares. Wasting time. But yeah, um, in terms of finding them, if you really know the map and you know, you know, some of them are always in the same locations. But I mean, I wouldn't even recommend you doing that. But oh yeah, here is one. One is up here. Pick up that. There's only more in there, but okay, let's get down there. But yeah, so when you pick up the first one, it will tell you how much is on the on this map. And right now, it told us I I have eight to find. And, and normally, I would just rush through, but I mean, I'm gonna try to find all eight. 
but if I can't find all eight, I'll just, you know, cut out the video and cut it up because I'm going to try to rush through and see how much I can find while rushing through. Oh, Shadow Shield. Canisters and all of that show up on the map as well and um, I would recommend you probably bring somebody in there with you in an interception or try to do it um, solo because um, I wouldn't say solo because I was saying solo um, earlier because um, I think that you know the interception mission if you don't activate the thing the enemies won't spawn but that's not the case I think the enemies will spawn even if you don't start the um, the excavator, you will still the enemies will still spawn in, which is kind of crazy because when you when enemies are spawned in and those guys that drop the um those guys that drop the what do you call it the things that you need to um to activate the um activate the the excavator those show up as mods as well so they're gonna be scattered all over the map and it's kind of a bit of confusing you know looking um you know seeing those on the map and then looking for a little a little a little dot on the map basically it's kind of hard and you don't really remember where you have been because they're gonna be scattered all over the place so you know like here when I knocked out all the mods in this tile set I know that okay I've already cleared this room out and I've already you know I've already been here but with interception now with you um not with you clearing out an area and all of those stuff lying on the ground you've been like oh have I been here before you know so you don't really know but with um but maybe if you have more friends in there, you could um, all split up and stuff like that, you know, and go and find them. But I, this, I would just say, try to do this with um with a friend, you know. I mean, doing it solo, it's fun, but you know, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Cause I've done it with other people in here who try to um you know was trying to help me out and stuff like that. But um, when I first came back, like about a month or two ago, I think it was a month or two ago. I don't, I'm not sure when they first added it. The syndicate alerts and a lot of people weren't doing it because the um the nerf hadn't come yet to the um, the rep rep farm you know <clears throat> a lot of people weren't doing it but i was doing it because you know for that little bit of extra rep because i was switching from from my syndicates on the left hand side to the syndicates on the right hand side so i needed that little extra bit of little rep every now and then you know and i could just save them up i didn't have to spend them all I, when i want to I, I could just save them up and spend them all at once when i'm ready you know, so I was doing it and, you know, people used to come in and they used to just, like, want to rush through and just get the mission done and get that little, um, just the extra bonus for completing the mission and not get the medallions or the mark or the seed or whatever the syndicates call them, you know. So that's why before I used to do them solo, but now, you know, I recommend doing it with a friend, you know, and do it in a group because you can see how long this is taking right now. I mean, I know it could have been done really faster, but... You know, I would say just bring a friend in here and do it with friends, you know, and you know, playing with friends is always fun. Okay, so let's get over here, open this door. I don't know, come to think of it, I've only found two already, right? I don't know if I've passed any because I've been talking to you guys so much and not paying attention really, but this is the part where I'm going to like bring up the map now, like like this, I'll bring up the map like this. So, but I can't see anything that I've already passed, that's a kind of a sad thing about this, but everything that's in this tile set, I will see it on the map. So basically like everything that's in here, I'll see it and everything that's nearby. So basically I, I can see right now that everything that's right here, yeah. Yeah, let's go back out. There's something down below. It's probably another um oh, hollow oh. In here. There's no more in here. Looks like they're gonna put the last bit of them close together because hold up. Hold up, let me see something here. The maps there's something should be right here, right? It's not above and it's not Hold up. Hmm, that's strange. I don't know if you guys seen something in the video that I don't, but I don't see nothing right there, but... Alright, let's just move along. Try to go over here. Oh, here's one. That's three. 
I should have just fucking just run around and tried to find these. Alright. But, I mean, oh, here's one more. So they're putting them really close together now, because I'm getting towards the end, maybe. So that's why they're putting them close together, as I said before. Okay. We'll just head back over to this side. Okay. Let's head over here. Oh, here's one. Here's one more. Let me just break these. Most of these containers, I just break them because I don't want it to confuse me. So that's the reason why I go back and I like break most of these containers. Oh look, I just see something here. Oh, there's another container again. There's one more. Oh, it's up top. Let's get up there. Get up there, Tenno. Oh boy. Alright, let's head back here. Oh. oh, this was the room I was just in. Oh. Let me head up here to the second level. No, it's not on the second level because even when I go here, it's telling me to go down. Nothing there, nothing there. So I don't know. Oh, I already break something. Oh, alright, it's all alright, it's gone. Alright. So let's just head over here. I think this video is getting way too long right now. I'm gonna about to cut it up. I'm gonna cut it up and show you guys the end and see how much I find. So I'm gonna cut to the end um, when I'm when I'm done finding all these. So basically I've killed all the enemies. I'm just gonna go around and finish looking for these stuff. Oh no, I haven't killed all of them yet. Oh. Okay guys, so here I am, I'm back. And I'm here at towards the end, well really I'm at the end basically, and I've looked through this whole thing, as you can see I have the whole map bigged up right here right now, you know, showing um, basically where, you know, you know, where everything is, you know, to bring up everything, because you know I can see everything that's all available in the map right now, and this is the only location that's left, and I don't know where the last medallion is, so this gotta be it, you know, so I'm trying to get to it, but I don't know, oh, all right, there it goes. I thought I had to go down to the extraction and that would have kicked me out, but I guess not. So all I did, um, uh, and yep, there it is. This is the last one. There it goes. Eight. I thought it was um down more where I had to go to the um, close to the extraction, but you know I know I had to come out on this side because I saw the opening was on this side. So that's all the thing again. You have to really know how to navigate your map. Like is that I looked on the map and I know that the opening was on that side, but I didn't know if I had to step down there to get to it because I forgot how this extraction is because. I only come here for Alec B and I always just run straight to it and that's just pretty much it and and uh, that was the last one so now I'm just gonna head out and I'm gonna show you guys as well you can see executed. let me see hold up I have six seed and two bountiful seed oh hold up. six and two bountiful you know so there it is six and two bountiful and some oxygen and now I'm gonna be showing you guys where to go after you've already collected all of these seeds. Okay, so here I am. I'm heading to Earth Relay Station, and um, the reason why I was I was trying to look for um, which planet um, um, the Bocatia was on, and I realized that um, now I guess he doesn't appear on any specific planet like before. So I'm just heading to Earth. I thought I was gonna look on um, the, on Warframe's Twitter to see actually where he was at, but. Um, I'm guessing the new update now he's um he has no specific location. Yeah, I've been away from Warframe for a while and I've been on and off really. And as I said I was playing a little bit of Bloodborne right before this, so that's why I was <laughs> I almost made that mistake in the beginning talking about playing Bloodborne, but yep. And I'm just gonna head over here. Oh, he's not in here, so he's at a specific relay. Hmm. Huh. He is a specific relay. Hmm. No, I was looking on a Twitch on. Let me see. A surface. Oh, oh, it tells you which relay he's at. Okay. But yeah, so you want to come here and um, 
you want to head in here. I think it's um, I think it's Orbiters, uh, yeah, yeah, Orbiters, Capelon, Steel Meridian, and this is Red Veil, vale, and then Parin, and then New Loka. And what did I? I think I got New Loka. Why am I going to Red Veil? Vale? Yeah, because Red Veil vale is my main syndicate. But I've been leveling up new loco and parent because they have some syndicate mods that I really like. And basically, want to talk to this guy at the, at the front here. So you see, turn in seeds, and each one of these guys you go into, they have different different names. And you see, bountiful and flawless. And I haven't gotten any flawless. You see, I only have zero available. I have five. I have five bountiful available. So that's gonna be five thousand. And then um, let me see. And hold up. I got um got twelve here. So you see I have over like eleven thousand standing that I can turn in right now. But I'm not going to, I'm just gonna keep up my stand I'm gonna keep my standings, I'm gonna stack them up. I don't even know if they, they maxed out on anything, but I'm just gonna keep them on and hold on to them for now. And that's pretty much it guys. Yeah, I hope this video was really helpful and don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more war.